Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 523. The category will be the Element Trivia Quiz. This is a 20-question trivia quiz with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end about the periodic table of the elements. Good luck. Question 1. A key active material in the rechargeable batteries that run electric cars, what is the chemical element that is a soft, silvery white alkali metal and under standard conditions is the lightest metal and the lightest solid element? The answer is lithium. Question 2. Some, like gold and silver, have been known for thousands of years. Others, such as americium and fermium, have only been recently created by scientists. As of 2021, how many different elements are on the periodic table? There are 118 elements. Question 3. Discovered as a component of the debris of the first hydrogen bomb explosion in 1952, what is the name of the synthetic element with the symbol ES and atomic number 99 that was named after a famous scientist? The answer is Einsteinium. Question 4. Two U.S. states have elements on the periodic table named for them. Tennessee is one with the atomic number 117. What is the other element with the atomic number of 98 named after a U.S. state? The answer is California. Question 5. With a name meaning artificial element, what was the first element prepared by humans in 1924 or 1937, depending on who you credit for the discovery, by bombarding a molybdenum sample with neutrons? The answer is Technetium. Question 6. Named after heavenly bodies in our solar system, Tellurium was named for Earth and Plutonium was named for the dwarf planet. What is the only element whose name is exactly like the planet it was named for? The answer is Mercury. Question 7. The single richest source of elemental discoveries in the world, the chemical elements yttrium, terbium, erbium, and ytterbium are all named after the village of Itterby that is located in what country? The answer is Sweden. Question 8. In 1898, Marie and Pierre discovered two new radioactive elements, radium, named after the Latin word for ray, and polonium, named after Marie's home country of Poland. What element was named in honor of Marie and Pierre? The answer is curium. Question 9. 
What element was named after a Swedish chemist, engineer, inventor, businessman, and philanthropist who held 355 different patents, dynamite being the most famous, whose financial contributions to science are unmatched? The answer is Nobelium. Question 10. The element sulfur burns with a blue flame. When the element is in the solid form, the color of it is yellow. What is the color of molten sulfur when it reaches 200 degrees Celsius? The answer is red. Question 11. The only element in the halide family that is a liquid at room temperature and pressure is what reddish brown liquid whose properties are intermediate between those of chlorine and those of iodine. The answer is bromine. Question 12. Best remembered for formulating the periodic law and creating a far-sighted version of the periodic table of elements, who is generally considered the father of the modern periodic table? The answer is Dmitri Mendeleev. Question 13. The first 94 elements occur naturally. However, the elements on the table from americium to agonesson occur only when synthesized in laboratories. How many elements are man-made? The answer is 24. Question 14. The noble gas family consists of six different elements, five of which have stable isotopes. What is the only one of the six noble gases that has radioactive isotopes formed by the natural radioactive decay of uranium? The answer is radon. Question 15. In the Earth's crust, oxygen percentage is 46.6, but oxygen belongs to the non-metal group. What is the most abundant element from the metal group found in the Earth's crust? The answer is aluminum. Question 16. The vertical columns in the periodic table organize elements into what? Elements within these share several common properties and often have the same outer electron arrangement. The vertical columns are arranged into groups. Question 17. There are seven of the horizontal rows in the table of elements, each one representing a what? This number of an element indicates how many of its energy levels house electrons. The answer is a period. Question 18. 
the chemical element with the standard atomic weight of 1.008. It is the lightest element on the periodic table and the most abundant chemical substance in the universe. What is the name of the element with the atomic number of 1? The answer is hydrogen. Question 19. The chemical symbol of what element is Pb, which comes from the Latin word plumbum, meaning waterworks, referring back to ancient times when that metal was widely used in the construction of water pipes. The answer is lead. Question 20. Which transition metal, whose name comes from the Nordic words for heavy stone, a reflection of its high density, has the second highest melting point of all the elements and is commonly used in light bulb filaments? The answer is tungsten. All right. That is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. I know there is a group of four viewers up camping in Scotland right now. They've been there for a couple days, they're going to be there for a couple more, and in the evenings when they're avoiding the flies, they're watching the Road Trippia episodes and playing along. So thank you guys for watching. I'm telling you, if you send me a picture of you camping up in Scotland, I'll use it as a thumbnail on one of my videos and I'll tag you guys in it. So thank you very much for the comment yesterday. I hope you guys are having a great time up there. Thank you for watching. Thank you everybody else for watching. Hopefully you're having as good a weekend as they are. And here is question 21 for today, the tiebreaker. What is the only periodic table group that contains elements in three of the main states of matter at standard temperature and pressure? So in normal conditions, what is the only group that has both a solid, liquid, and a gas. That group on the periodic table is halogens. Fluorine and chlorine are gases. Bromine, which was a question earlier, is a liquid. And iodine and estatine are solids. Thank you for watching. If you're camping up in Scotland, have a good evening. If you're not camping up in Scotland, hopefully you're doing something fun. And thank you for spending a little bit of time watching this episode of Road Trippia. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.